Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is my monthly favorites video for August 2023. It's all the things that I've been really enjoying this month, so let's just get started. So if you watched my last video, uh, you know that I got the Holo Taco 4th Anniversary Retro Collection. That has been my favorite, specifically this box. I, I just can't with this box. Now the sad part is, is that I looked on the website and this box is sold out, but the collection, the nail polishes themselves and the retro bag are still in stock. So if you missed out on the, the fun VHS tape, sadly there's not a lot you can do about that uh, but you can get the on the go bag and the actual polishes which I've worn twice this month um, out of four manicures so half the manicures I've done have been this collection I really have been enjoying this collection quite a bit so let's move on to some makeup this first thing I'm going to share is not new uh, I think it came out early this year or maybe last year, but it's this LA Girl 4 Play Eyeshadow Quad. It's specifically in uh, Feel Good. I am loving this eyeshadow quad. It is so easy to work with. The colors are pretty pigmented. The shimmer is really nice. I'm wearing this on my eyes today. Um, I just find that this, I keep coming back to this. I have so many eyeshadow palettes. I really, really do. Um, I have Huda Beauty. I have naked palettes. I have expensive palettes, but I keep coming back to this $6 palette and I love it. I really do. It's easy to use and it's very pretty and I'm I'm in love with this. The next set of items are not really that new either, but they're new to me. Uh, Rare Beauty, Selena Gomez's brand, has been really intriguing me and I got a couple of items and I'm really in love. So the first thing is this Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Sunscreen. I'm wearing this today along with some concealer to give me some extra coverage, but I'm really loving this. It is really light. It doesn't irritate my skin. Um, and I really like the color. A lot of colors that I find in skin tints can be too yellow or too red. And this one is just right. I wear the shade 16 C. Um, I really enjoying this. The only thing I wish was different is the bottle is not clear. So I have no idea how much is left in here and I've been using it quite a bit. So I'm worried that I'm going to run out and have to buy another $30 tinted moisturizer that only gives you one fluid ounce. So I wish the bottle was clear, <laughs> but I really like it. I told you that Rare Beauty has been intriguing me and next up is another Rare Beauty item, which is not new, but this is a newer shade. This is the Rare Beauty um, bronzer stick and this is the, sa the shade Bright Side. Now, if I open it, you can tell that I have used the crap out of it. Um, there, I mean, there's still quite a bit left in here, but I, I use it almost every time I do my makeup and I put bronzer on. Uh, I used to use the Revolution Cream Bronzer. I have the e.l.f. Cream Bronzer, but I keep coming back to this one. Um, and I, I really love it. It's one of my favorite, uh, makeup items right now. So this is good in my book. Okay, I swear this is the last of the Rare Beauty products, but I was finally able to get my hands on the highlighters. This one I think is Mesmerize, which is the pink one. Um, and I, this is the first one I got. Um, I have one of the other ones, but I really, really like this one. Um, it is just so buttery smooth. I worry about it cracking in the pan because of how soft it is. So I like try really hard not to drop it because I worry that it'll just shatter on me. I've seen people online saying that theirs came shattered and I'm like, Oh, I don't want that to happen to me. I love this highlighter. So this is amazing. The Mesmerize is the pink one. Um, and I really like it with this eye look. It sort of ties everything together. Um, but this is, has been one of my favorites this month. I've really enjoyed it. And last but not least in the makeup collection is the Give 
mascara. It's the Can't Stop Staring mascara. And a lot of people have been liking this online. I am no exception. Uh, this is one of the only mascaras that I don't smudge uh, when I put it on. So most of the time when I'm putting on my mascara, I smudge the top of my eyelid or up here or right at the lash line every single time I've kind of just come to expect it. The very first time I put that on this on, I, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. I, maybe it's the, um, the wand because the wand is this sort of like weird shape with the ball on the end. Maybe it's that, but, um, I really do love this mascara. It gives a ton of volume. I've been really liking this. Um, if not for the fact that it doesn't smudge when I put it on, I would love it just for that. Okay, so that was all the makeup, but I have one more sort of Sephora item to, to talk about. It is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Cheriosa number 71 uh, with notes of caramelized vanilla and macadamia. I love this stuff. I, I spray it on every single day and you can tell. Um, it just, it smells so warm and kind of like baked goods is the, the only way I can describe it, but it doesn't smell like the cheap fake baked goods that you get at like Walmart or Target. Oh, it's this warm vanilla caramely scent. And when I put it on, uh, I can smell it for a little while and then it sort of fades. But what I really like about it, and I don't have not had any other perfume or perfume sprays do this, is it's, it's summer right now. So when it gets really hot, I can start smelling it again because it's warmed up. So I'm like, oh, I smell good again. Not that I didn't before, but I have never had that happen. And it just makes this one of my extra favorites. Okay, let's talk about hair care. I have very short hair. I didn't used to, if you look back on my channel, my hair used to be so long, but earlier this year I went just shave it off, just cut it all off. And so I'm still needing some dry shampoo, but I don't need as harsh of a dry shampoo because my hair is pretty short. So um, what I've been using is this Hask Charcoal with Citrus Purifying Dry Shampoo with Long Lasting Oil Absorption. I am loving this. It smells pretty good, but it also does a pretty decent job. The one that I was using was the Eva NYC uh, Dry Shampoo, which I really like that one, but it goes so quickly and it's $13. This was $6.99 and I'm okay if I go through this a little quicker but the Eva NYC one just went by so quick I felt like I wasn't getting as much use of it out of it as I wanted to so uh, I got this at Ulta buy one get one 40% off so I have this one and the volumizing one and I find that both are very good so this has been one of my favorite hair care products this month and speaking of Eva NYC, there is something that I have been enjoying. It is this Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer for fine hair. I really like this. Now, I have the one for normal hair, and that one works just fine if I spray one spray. <laughs> Don't spray anything more than that, otherwise it gets too heavy for my hair because my hair is pretty fine. But this, I can spray two, three, four, and not have a problem and I really do like the way this makes my hair look um, before my hair was pretty frizzy and just all over the place now I feel like since I've been using this my hair has been softer and shinier this one I really like as well okay so now on to some skincare I I admit I'm not a skincare girly I want to be and I have serums and I have BHAs and AHAs and I have lots of stuff in my bathroom that I just don't use but this I do use I got this from TJ Maxx but I did find a link for it um, from Selfridges I don't know what it is but it's evidently based in the US so I put the link in the description below um, this is the Biosense Squalene and Elderberry Jelly Cleanser I have been really enjoying this I think that 
it's done great for my skin. It's very gentle. I love jelly cleansers because they don't leave a lot behind. Um, I have just been really um, enjoying this and there's not much else to say about it because it gets my skin clean and that's what I want out of a cleanser. <laughs> so last in the skincare is a body care item and I, I'm very picky about body care. Um, I have, you know, kind of sensitive skin, kind of dry skin, but I have found that I really like bar soap, but I don't like the bar soap you get in the store. It's awful. What I do like is royalty soaps and royalty soaps is a, um, I think I want to call it like a boutique brand, but it's more like a small business. They're based out of Texas. Katie actually has a YouTube channel, royalty soaps, um, which is how I found her. Uh, it came up in the middle of the night while I was just laying on my couch trying to figure out how to sleep and she was doing some sort of circus soap and I'm like, oh my gosh, I must have that. I was influenced to buy it. And ever since then, that's what I've been using. So this is just the one that I have that is unopened because <laughs> I'm really terrible. I'll buy multiple soaps. Uh, before I can use up the one that I've got because they all come in just delectable scents. So this one is wildflower honey. Oh, it smells so good even through the package. Um, I've had ones that smell like pink lemonade, watermelon, beautiful warm smells, beautiful uh, citrus smells and flowery smells and I love 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 the soap it's not too harsh it's very moisturizing i find that i feel clean i don't have like a weird film on my body after using this it just smells so good um i love her fall scents so coming up here september october i'll probably be buying more soap <laughs> but this is just the one that i have um that's unopened what i usually do is I cut them in half because those are pretty big bars. So I cut them in half and this is the half of like a frosted soap. So it has like this top on it. I just cut them in half and use half at a time because my hands are kind of small. So the big ones are kind of hard for me to use. So they last me twice as long, which is great. But yeah, I love royalty soaps. I have a link in the description, but they're amazing. Go check them out. Give them your business. It's worth it. The next couple of things I want to talk about, I don't actually have physical items for. So let's talk about TV shows and movies. So it's not new, but they're still going strong. I've been really loving Hoarders. There's just something so interesting about watching that much cleaning and and the types of hordes people have that is fascinating to me um i love watching cleaning channels even though i don't like to clean so i find hoarders very interesting i love to see what kind of things they find in the hoard uh now sometimes it can be pretty dramatic because obviously the person's house in which they're cleaning has an emotional attachment to things. They feel violated and the drama between the, the person and their family members or the person and the, and the TV show host people, uh, can be a little much for me, but I love hoarders lately. I've been watching it on YouTube. One of the other places I think you can find them is Netflix, but they only have the newer seasons. So it depends on how much you want to binge. The next one is definitely not new, definitely old, but I've been really loving the Twilight series. Oh, I know. I know. It's so cringe. It's so cringe, but I've not been loving it because I love the acting or I love the premise or I love the actual movie. No, no, no. My friend Courtney and I have been watching it so we can commentary on the whole thing. It is just hilarious. The acting can be so bad. <laughs> it's just wonderful to watch. When you go at it with that sort of mindset, I don't get mad that it's bad. <laughs> But I got Peacock Premium just so I could watch it. So 
That, that tells you something. Plus, I haven't seen the last two movies, so I figure I'm missing out. People have been talking about how hilarious it is. Cinema Therapy did a whole um, playlist on Twilight and how they think about it. So I really encourage you to watch that. It'll be down in the description. It's amazing. It's hilarious. So that's why I've been watching the Twilight series, just for the sheer hilarity. <laughs> And to provide commentary. And there you go. My favorites for the month of August 2023. If you like this style of video, please give this a like. I hope to make more of these. Uh, if there's been something that you've liked a lot in August, comment it down below. I'd love to know what you've been loving. If you're interested in any of the items I've talked about in this video, they'll be linked down in the description box below. Some of them are affiliate links, so I'll get a small commission if you buy through that link but no pressure uh, you can always google it and go from there if you'd like if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time bye